Please stop. Uh, this Get is out. all on tape. Please stop. Get out of the car. Please don't hurt me. Why are Get you doing out. this? No, sir. I'm telling you, get out. I'm, I'm telling you that this is not lawful. Ah! Oh my God, get that's out. not lawful, get sir. Get out! That's not lawful. Get out. In College Dale, Tennessee, that was Hamilton County Officer Evan Driscoll tasing a man for refusing to get out of his car during a traffic stop. That man is named Delane Gordon. He's actually a food delivery guy. He was allegedly going 49 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. Yes, he was allegedly speeding during one of his runs. And for that, and refusing to get out of the vehicle, well, Officer Driscoll felt it was okay to use physical force against him by tasing him, something that in some cases can be lethal force. Well, in a police report, Officer Driscoll said that Gordon was argumentative when he was first pulled over by police. The video shows that Gordon clearly did not want to get out of his delivery vehicle, but he was actually polite and calm, repeatedly asking Officer Driscoll for a supervisor. What's going on? Please get me a supervisor. You will be tight. Get he out. He said he pulled me over for a traffic get stop out. and he's going to taste me. You can't do that, officer, because I call for your get supervisor. Out. I have my license. What is the you reason I'm getting out? Give your information. I, told you I didn't refuse. I asked now you're resisting. I haven't get refused. Out. I asked to speak to your supervisor. Get out. Sir, I feel get uncomfortable. Out. Please get your supervisor. I don't give a don't what you touch feel like. me. I said get out. Please stop it. Why are you being like this? Is this how y'all really are? Is this how you all really are? Well, unfortunately, a lot of them really are this way, particularly when the driver or the suspect is African American and the police officer or law enforcement officer is white. Back in March, right after this encounter, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department added charges to Mr. Gordon. In addition to the traffic violation, Mr. Gordon was also charged with resisting arrest and obstruction of justice. Well, those charges have now been dropped. The Hamilton County District Attorney's Office clearly has its issues with the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department, and the District Attorney's Office has also now asked the U.S. Department of Justice to launch an investigation into the Sheriff's Department. This comes after the DA received a letter from Chattanooga Clergy for Justice citing 20 different instances of abuse by the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department. This involves abuse allegedly during traffic stops, police encounters, and also at the local jail. So by many accounts, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department has a questionable or at least a controversial record. Now, to be clear, if you are arrested in Tennessee or anywhere else in the United States for that matter, whether it's for a traffic violation or whatever, yes, you do have the right to ask for a police supervisor and the police are obligated to have a supervisor come to the scene. But that does not technically mean the officers who are already there must suddenly engage in a timeout and stop everything they're doing and put everything on hold. It simply means that a police supervisor must eventually come to the scene, explain why you are being arrested before you are taken off the scene and taken to jail and booked. However, in this particular case, Delane Gordon has every right to be infuriated, and legal experts say he's looking at a possible very strong civil rights lawsuit against the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department, and here's why. Based on the video alone, it is clear that Gordon was peaceful. He was calm. He was not a violent threat. He may have been a threat to Officer Driscoll's ego by refusing to show him whatever respect that Driscoll was looking for getting out of the car, but again, he was not a physical threat, and to meet a peaceful person with physical violence Tasing, that goes against department policies. Nonetheless, as you might expect, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department said that it looked into this and found that there has been nothing wrong. There was no violation in this case. And as a result, Officer Evan Driscoll is still on the force. One can only hope that Delane Gordon actually brings this lawsuit. Officer Driscoll should not be on this particular police department's force or any police force in that matter. He is a loose cannon. He might even be racist. Who knows how he would have responded if this person had been, say, white instead of black. Might he, he might have been perhaps more polite and nicer. In any case, this is a ridiculous situation, and it shows a few bad cops can ruin the image for police across the United States. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in the comment section.